This is a sticky piston. Well, obviously. Actually, it's a triple extender in the floor. But the piston is one block above the ground. And that means there should be only one way to power it, without seeing any redstone, which is pushing a redstone block into the gap underneath. But that creates a problem. In Java Redstone, we have a thing called quasi-connectivity, or QC, which gives us more ways to power pistons, proving once and for all that Java is better than bedrock. With this, you can even have pistons extended without being powered at all. It's pretty useful, but it does have some drawbacks. This redstone block will never come down. It's stuck because it QC powers the piston, and we can't use an observer because that doesn't keep the piston extended. It just pulses it. We need a redstone block. So already, this is starting to seem impossible. And me and Avogado, with whom I built this, are starting to look like cheaters. Maybe we do need bedrock redstone after all. But we never fake our redstone. So how do we do it? Well, in the wise words of Mumbo, it's actually pretty simple. We just used slime blocks, a detector rail, and a minecart that we lovingly shoved into the ground. Okay, purple, that's great and all, but why did you make this? Well, after Avo and I made a certain hidden crafting table, we were hazardously bored. So Avo showed me this speed-optimized piston layout, and before we knew it, we'd spent nine hours wiring it. And yeah, it's completely useless. So I guess the moral of the story is, um, never underestimate the power of a redstone as boredom?